Yo guys, it's Carl Knuckles here and I'm bringing you a very, very big and special announcement. Now I know it was announced a few days ago so you guys probably already know, but the reason I've left it is because I was waiting for uh, Oda's comments to be translated to English so obviously I can now do this video for you guys. So yeah, the big, big announcement is that One Piece is getting, not, not a live action film, but a live action TV series. And I'm going to be blatantly honest with you guys, I'm open-minded to it. I will admit, I'm going to be open-minded to it. I still have that fear. Obviously, you know, we've had the likes of, you know, Dragon Ball Evolution, which sucked ass. Obviously, we know we've got the Naruto live action by Lionsgate, but obviously we've not heard anything on that. We've obviously got the Bleach film, which is coming out next year, which I'm hoping it does it justice. So, fingers crossed, you know, for all the Bleach fans. Me, personally, I've only just literally just got into Bleach. So, but I'm hoping for, you know, some other Bleach fans, obviously, especially like James Hansen and, you know, uh, some other fans as well. I'm hoping it actually does justice for them personally, which would be good because personally, I think the anime needs to come back for that. But obviously, that's, a, that's, another, that's for another story altogether. But obviously, we had the Attack on Titan live action. We've had the Ghost in the Shell. And I've heard good and bad things. I've not personally checked them out. I may do at some point, but in, at this current moment in time, no. Because I've heard a bit more bad reviews, to be honest with you, on that. But I know obviously saying, well, you do One Piece content, so of course you're going to be open. But no, I think, ev I think everyone, not just me, but like every other One Piece fan, should go in with an open mind on this. Because you never know, it's a TV series. So they haven't got to rush everything to make like an hour and a half film of complete mess ups. So it's not going to be all over the place. This, they could take their time and then obviously they could probably get it right. Obviously, depending on how close they stick to the actual manga anime, who knows. But I shall read to you exactly what was said from obviously the One Piece podcast news article and obviously what Oda has said that has been translated. So... On July 21st, 2017, it was announced that a Hollywood live-action One Piece television series is in the works. It is being overseen by Tomorrow ITV Studios under the supervision of Marty Edelstein, who is also one of the executive producers of Prison Break. I love Prison Break. Prison Break was actually pretty good. It's come back. I've not actually watched it. My mum's watched it, which was quite surprising if it wasn't her sort of thing, but she said it's pretty good. So I may check it out at some point. But the news was announced as part of a celebration in Tokyo this weekend, celebrating the launch of One Piece in Weekly Shonen Jump officially on July 22nd, 1997. Weekly Shonen Jump's editor-in-chief, Hiroyuki Nakano, announced... I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, announced the news at a press conference at Tokyo Tower. Tomorrow Studios is also working on the recently announced live-action television series for the acclaimed anime Cowboy Bebop. I've not personally watched it, but... If there's any Cowboy Bebop fans, I'm pretty sure you might be happy and you're probably thinking the same thing as us. You're open-minded, but you're scared. Um, a statement has been released by Edelstein reveals that One Piece could be one of the most expensive TV series ever made. No further production or release details are available at this time. So obviously we don't know who's starring in it, even though they've probably got some names that they're throwing around. But obviously we won't know until further notice. So I'm going to tell you exactly what Oda said as well. So the main man himself has said, There have been many talks about making a live-action series in the past 20 years. About three years ago, we began to seriously consider it. After many twists and turns, we found a good partner. Coincidentally, we made the production announcement on the 20th anniversary. I am very happy. This announcement may cause some anxiety, but my one condition for the series is never to be is never to be to betray the fans who supported my work for 20 years. Please get excited and wait for the next report Please look forward to it. It's Shira Oda. So we've heard from the main man himself that from what we can see, he looks like he's going to be overseeing the project, which is actually good because obviously we've got Kishimoto who's overseeing Boruto and obviously I believe we've got Kira Toriyama who's obviously overseeing Dragon Ball Super. And look how they turn out. I mean, obviously we know Boruto's never ever going to reach... It probably will get big, but it'll never reach what Naruto was, obviously. And obviously Super, it's not going to be as... Brilliant as what Dragon Ball Z was, but it's it's grown, it's grown quite a bit, and I can obviously see Boruto going in the same way. But those aside, we're focusing on One Piece here, a live action TV series in which you know Adelstein said himself, which I'll repeat again, that One Piece could be one of the most expensive TV series ever made. 
which is good because you can see that they're going to throw a lot of money into this because you you know with live action films it probably would never work i mean think about it they're going to have like probably what an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes of making you know what exactly probably like skipping a load of episodes and just showing whatever i don't know what they could do for that because what can you focus on to be honest i mean obviously you know we've got the whole you know east blue but you know what could i take or it could be sank from uh you know like something iconic like marineford for all we know but who knows we'll obviously we'll find out more information as it you know as it comes rolling in but in a way the reason why i'm actually quite open-minded for this as well the fact that it's a tv series and he said that they're going to be throwing a, you know they're practically going to be throwing a lot of money in it you know it's going to be expensive but it gives them time and not to rush making this i mean obviously you've got to think they're going to be focusing on luffy's devil fruit you know that's if depending on what where it's actually set so you know they've got a lot of time depending on the episodes and how much money they can actually stretch it out for no pun intended with the whole stretching this but Luffy's devil for it, obviously he's going to be stretching, because obviously, you know, no human in the world can easily stretch like that. This is no way impossible. So we know it's going to be CGI'd, especially when it comes to that. But who knows? It, you know, with the technology we have nowadays, it could look a lot more realistic. Obviously, we know it's not going to be, because as I said, no one can stretch like that. But I am, I am looking forward to it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to give the Death Note... Netflix film ago. I'm going to watch that live action. I mean, I, it's my third favourite series of all time, Death Note. I, I adore Death Note. I think it's got a brilliant story. But I know it's going to be a bit different. I know that. But I'm still going to watch it. You know, I'm still going to give it a go and then I'll do a reaction to that of what I think of that as well. But so I guess knowing that they're going to be doing One Piece and they know how huge it is, so I know. The, they're probably expecting the fans to have, you know, they're expecting a lot from this, or they they're gonna try and sort of keep it on the down low. Release obviously some information about it as they go further on, like releasing, you know, actors' names, who they've picked, actresses, you know, where it's gonna be set, and you know, obviously they'll gra as they're gradually releasing it. I'm hoping fans may be like, oh yeah, no, that's that's a good pick. I can see that working. Oh no, that's a, you know, I can see that set in like those from that arc that could actually work you know it'll be so i'm kind of hoping it'll build the hype up for one piece fans and hopefully if there is any one piece fans that may be quite negative towards this rather than positive you know i'm hoping that you know my eldersteen and whoever else is working on it can actually just you know shock us like and i'm hoping i'm generally hoping it'll be good but I generally think people are still holding on to the whole Dragon Ball Evolution, you know, the Attack on Titans, you know, the new Death Note, which I know some people are quite negative about that. So I am, I'm going to stay open-minded to it, and I hope that you guys will hopefully be open-minded. Obviously, it's your opinion. Whether you want to watch it is up to you. You're probably going to be like, nah, I don't want to watch it, and then you end up checking it out anyway, because you never know. You're probably going to sort of, like, not watch the first, like, episode or two, and then you're going to have, like, one of your best friends or say, look... It's complete opposite to what we were thinking. It's not diabolical. It's actually pretty good. You can see they've actually took their time to actually spend the money, do it right, make us One Piece fans proud. And obviously, I'm pretty sure they're going to go, you know, to Oda and be like, okay, look, this is what, this is the plans. This is what, you know, we're thinking of doing. And Oda be like, no, don't do that. That'll, that'll be the worst thing ever. Use this or something. Or, you know, our actors... Yeah, no, I, I'm, I can go with that, or no, I don't think that person will suit that. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, from what I'm gathering and from what I'm seeing, Oda is gonna have the final say, like, and which is good because you need that. You need the original, like, mangaka who's gonna actually oversee everything. Obviously, we know it's not his. We know it's well, it is, but it's not. So, I'm as I said, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm gonna give it a go. I will give it a shot. If I don't like it, I don't like it. Simple as. If I like it, you know, I'll do reviews for you guys. I'll do... Reg I'll, I'll, to be honest, guys, I'm probably going to watch it anyway. I'm probably going to watch the whole entire thing and do, like, a review like I do with, like, the manga and anime anyway. Because, you know, people are going to want to see what other people think. Everyone's got different opinions to everything. There'll probably be people who like it. Like I said, there'll probably be people that don't like it. So, who knows? But, guys, yes. So, One Piece live-action TV series... 
is it good? Is it going to flop or is it going to be brilliant? Probably looking maybe where it's near enough, like going, it's in the middle of the year of 2017 at the moment. Probably won't see it till 2018, probably around summertime. Who knows? It depends on how quick it goes, but I'm hoping they take their time with it. So, yeah, will One Piece be a flop or will it be brilliant? So, that TV series, a lot of hype, but maybe not a lot of hype at the same time. So, yeah, guys. If you liked anything I had to say, drop us a like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do, and I'll see you guys for the next One Piece videos.